Hey everybody, it's Mike from Gadget Hacks, and in today's video I'll be showing you how to launch any app you want when detaching the S Pen from your Galaxy Note phone. I'll be demonstrating this gadget hack with my Note 3, but it's also compatible with the Note 2. So out of the box, you don't have too many options for dictating what happens when your S Pen is detached. You can either have it display the Air Command menu, which I personally don't use too often, or have it launch Samsung's Action Memo. Those are the only two things you can do, and if you'd prefer to launch an app other than Action Memo, then the stock settings just don't cut it. So what we can do to add some more customization options is use this app called NoteBuddy. You can find the link to it in the full tutorial down below. Once you've got it onto your phone, go ahead and open it up. Make sure you're in the S Pen section, and then just hit the toggle switch for Enable to turn it on. And once you do so, you can set up different events to occur when your S Pen is detached, or when you reattach it. The main focus today will be launching apps, so to set that up, head to Auto Launch and switch it on here. And you can toggle this setting as well, which prevents it from launching apps in the middle of a phone call. And you can do the same to other apps by adding it to the blacklist. So let's say you don't want your app to launch in the middle of uh, watching some videos on YouTube or Netflix. You just go to Configure Auto Launch Blacklist, tap on the plus sign at the bottom. Then just find that app and add it to the blacklist. And to choose what happens when you detach your S Pen, just tap on Select Application. Then from here, tap on Application. And from here, you can choose your app. Uh, I like using the S Pen when I'm web browsing. Uh, it makes it easier to tap on links with the tip of the stylus rather than my fingers. So I'm going to go with Google Chrome. And that's all there is to setting it up. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I've got my S Pen in the slot, and I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And it opens up Google Chrome just like we wanted it to. And that's not the only thing you can do with NoteBuddy. You have several options to play around with. So here under Notification, if you switch it on, you can enter in different text to appear when you uh, remove your S Pen. And if you have more than one app that you like using the S Pen with, then you can create a quick bar. And that will let you place shortcuts to three different apps in your notification panel whenever your S Pen is detached. Under Attach Action, you can set up different events to occur when you reattach your S Pen, just like we did with detaching it. And you can have it perform actions. You can have it go to the home screen, control music, open a web page, or lock your screen. If you do want it to lock your phone though, you'll need to set up NoteBuddy as a device administrator. To do that, just head back to the main menu, scroll to General and then just tap on device administrator right, then tap on activate and now you'll be able to lock your screen with the S Pen. You can also customize the sound that plays when you detach or insert your S Pen. The stock settings only allow you to choose from two different sounds but with NoteBuddy you can just go to sound make sure that's toggled on. Right, then you can choose detachment sound or insertion sound and go to select sound and there will be a built-in file explorer and you can just navigate to whatever audio file you have that you want to play. And there are also similar options for the headset. All right, just swipe over to the headset section, make sure to enable it, and then you can set up different actions just like using the S Pen. If you like NoteBuddy, don't forget to support the developer by getting the Pro version, which adds even more options. You can easily do so from the General tab, and just tap on Buy Pro version. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. Thanks for watching.